Hello, everyone. My name is Liu Yang, a PhD candidate at the Institute of Computing Technology, Chinese Academy of Science. I feel honored to present our work titled Pick and Choose, a Gene-Based Imbalanced Learning Approach for Fraud Detection. Together with my co-author, Ao Xiang, Qin Zidi, He Qing from ICTCES, and Shi Jianfeng, Feng Jinghua, Yang Hao from Alibaba Group. The corresponding author is Professor Ao Xiang. The content of this talk could be listed as follows. First, I would like to introduce the background and the motivation of this work. Next, I will explain our framework named PCGN to solve this problem. Then I will demonstrate the performance of PCGN in the experiment section. Finally, this talk will be finished with a conclusion and future work. The background of this work is fraud. Fraud is a serious crime that can result in very negative life-altering consequences. Today, we introduce opinion fraud and financial fraud as two examples. Opinion fraud are very common on the online review sites like Yelp or Amazon. Research shows that 77% of people look at reviews before they purchase online. If you look at these reviews, be aware that not all reviews are believable. Some reviews are posted by their friends or paid reviewers. They will leave four or five star good news review to improve the reputation of the product. And other reviews would be posted by their rivals or enemies. And they will leave one star reviews to put down the product. All these reviews belong to fake or spam reviews because other customers could extract no useful information from this kind of review. Financial fraud covers a wide range of cases, such as credit default, identity theft, tax evasion, and so on. It is very prevalent across financial institutions, governments, insurance sectors, public sectors, and so on. To identify and prevent these fraud activities, fraud detection plays an important role. According to the industry analysis report conducted by Global Market Insights, fraud protection and prevention market sites grew over 23% from 2019 to 2025, and it's predicted to reach over $80 billion in 2025. Today, we focus on special case of fraud detection named graph-based fraud detection. The fraud detection task was conducted on a graph. Graphs are used to model the relationship between the targets. For example, for the product review settings, if two reviews are posted by the same user join, these two reviews have a relationship named RUR. It means it was, they are posted by the same user. Similarly, other two relationships, RSR, mean that they are and the same product with the same star rating, and RTR means they are under the same product in the same month. Similarly, in the financial ratio, financial users also have their relationships such as social relationships, log in the same device, fund transfer, and trade. No matter general fraud detection or graph-based fraud detection, only a small number of samples belong to the fraud class. This is what we call the class imbalance problem. As a result of this, the trend model is easily biased to the majority class. For feature-based data, the class imbalance problem could be alleviated by sampling techniques, oversampling methods such as MOAT, ADASYN, 
and undersampling methods such as TU Trust to produce a balanced set for training. But for graph data, since nodes are not independent to each other anymore, the sampling techniques mentioned above do not work anymore. To understand the difficulties for imbalanced learning on graph, we summarize three challenges from two aspects. The first two challenges come from the application, phenomenon named camouflage. Fraudster will deliberately form many edges with the benign users to hide themselves among lots of other users. This will, this will cause redundant links between fraudsters and benign users. Secondly, fraudster will avoid form edges with another fraudster in order not to be discovered together. This will cause the lack of necessary links among fraudsters. The last challenge comes from the graph neural network. GN, the key design of GN, lies in the message aggregation. I mean, most neighbor, if most neighbors belong to the majority class, like the left figure show that five of six neighbors belong to the majority class, then the aggregated message may be dominated by the majority feature, and the predict would be biased to the majority class, but the true class is the minority class. So that the motivation of this work is to solve the class imbalance problem in graph-based fraud detection. And in the next part, we will introduce a method named PCGN to solve this problem. The first step of PCGN is to pick nodes from the whole graph to construct a label balance subgraph for training. Let's first look at a simple toy example. If we have three orange balls and six gray balls, how can we obtain a color balanced balls by a sampling process? When it, one simple solution to that is to set in the pr sampling probability to be inverse proportional to the label frequency. In other words, that sampling the orange balls with a probability equal to one third and sampling the green balls with a probability equal to one sixth. Then after several times of sampling, we are expected to get a color balance set of ball. Similarly, for the node sampling in PCGNM, we said that the probability of node V to be sampled to be inversely proportional to its label frequency so that the subgraph will be label balanced and squarely proportional to its degree because we need to pay more attention to those important nodes in the graph. The resulting subgraph was shown and the right figure showed that. Nodes that are not sampled like E, F, G, W are translucent. Then the next step, we need to choose neighbors for each node, especially for the minority class. Take node V as an example. It has four neighbors, A, B, C, D. Three of its neighbors, A, B, D, belong to the majority class, and one of its neighbors belong to the minority class. What we want to do is to oversample the minority class neighbor and undersample the majority class neighbor. So we defined the oversampled neighborhood overline NRLV to be the nodes who have the same label with the center nodes V and also have a close distance to V. In this example, note U was added to the oversampled neighborhood of V. For other neighbors, we need to undersample them. We only keep those neighbors who have a close distance to V. And in this example, A, B, C, D, we only keep A, B, C to form the undersampled neighborhood 
underline NRLV. The distance function was implemented by an MLP classifier to predict the label, so it is a trainable distance function. In other words, for the minority targets, we define the neighborhood to be the union of the undersample neighborhood and the oversample neighborhood. For the majority targets, we only keep the undersample neighborhood as the final neighborhood. As for the multi-relation settings, we do the pick and choose process for each relation. Then we aggregate the neighbors for each relation to get a relation-specific representation HVRL. Then representations from different relations are concatenated together to obtain the final representation HVL. The distance function and the GN framework are both trained using the cross entropy loss, and the overall loss is the sum of the two parts weighted by a parameter alpha. In the next section, we will conduct several experiments to answer the following four research questions. The experiments were conducted on two public benchmarks Yelp Kai Amazon for opinion for detection and two real-world datasets provided by Alibaba Group, M7 and M9, for financial fraud detection. The statistics are listed in the table, and the trend valid test patient is 40%, 20%, 40%. We We compare with several state-of-art methods, including traditional graph neural networks, regularized GCN, sampling-based graph neural networks, data for graph-based fraud detection. And we also developed two variants of PCGNM with peak and choose removed for ablation study. The three adopted metrics is F1 macro, AUC, and G mean. To answer the first research question, we compare with all the state-of-art methods. And we can observe that PCG and outperform all of them and compared with the strongest baseline care gene, we gain an AUC improvement and the GME improvement have demonstrated this. Also, in the financial default fraud detection task, we also can draw the similar conclusion. Compare with the ablation. Partial model, the full model gains the best performance, also demonstrate that the, each component in our framework is effective, which answers the research question two. As for the research question three, we vary the training ratio from 10% to 50%. And compared with the two strongest baseline, PCG and achieve the most stable performance with respect to the parameter. For the last research question, we equip the traditional graph neural networks model, GC and graph stage with a peak process and get a result GCNP and graph stage P. GCNT is the threshold moving results. Since the peak, peak module, enhanced module get the best performance, which indicates that our model could improve traditional graph neural networks in the imbalanced classification task. Finally, we get two conclusions for this work, and we develop a new model named PCGNA to solve the class imbalance problem, and the experiments demonstrate the effectiveness. For future work, we think that graph structure learning for imbalanced data is a promising direction. Thank you all for listening. If you have any question, feel free to contact us at this email addresses. Thank you very much.